vlog, I'm gonna be doing a after school night routine. After school routine, it's just like, this is my day after school. We'll see how I condense that down to the title. My name is Marla, if you're new here, welcome. It's just a bunch of, just school vlogs and stuff like that. This camera is low key heavy. <laughs> Whenever I hold it, I'm like, I need to go to the gym and work out my arms because this is difficult. Here's my outfit of the day. This is what I wore to school. Um, since I woke up late, I was like, I'm just gonna go and do my hair. If I'm showing up late, might as well look good. So I curled my hair. I'm wearing just my little hoops. I think these are from Amazon. I stole them from my sister. Zoe. And then I'm wearing my top. This is from Zara. This is a very much spring summer top. I thought it would be a little bit warmer today because yesterday was almost 60 degrees and the weather said it would be warmer, but it just, it was not. So someone lied. Then I have my jeans. These are from Madewell. I got them in the sale section. And honestly, these are probably some of my favorite jeans. I wear them probably every day. If not, then I wear my literally one other favorite pair. <laughs> so I then have my shoes. These are from Converse. These are the legged boots. And I have some like, some like trash and packages like I need to throw out. Um, my sweet friend Ava got me some flowers. These are the most beautiful hydrangeas. Trader Joe's, if you guys are ever in need of flowers, if you have a Trader Joe's by you, I feel like it's the best affordable fresh flowers. Let me go check on my food. Okay, this looks like a mess. I feel like this is such stereotypical like college housing, what it looks like, but I made, that is the most depressing thing I've ever seen, but I know it's gonna be delicious. Um, you see that little weenie? This is my life hack. Okay, if you live in Utah, you'll know that there's a restaurant called Jada and J-Dogs is literally just a hot dog restaurant. That's the only thing they sell, but they have a special sauce that they put on all their hot dogs and it's so yummy. I went to the location and I literally just picked up the special sauce. It's like seven bucks. It's this huge container and this will last me forever, but I like to make my own J-Dogs at home. It's a lot more affordable. It's very quick, super easy meal idea, especially for college students. It's very cheap. I just got hot dog buns. Today I bought these hot dogs. I really don't know what the best quality hot dog to buy is because I don't want to buy like the cheapest one. So I kind of got the most expensive of one there, which was the Nathan. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm just gonna step up my hot dog. It's like 3.30, so I feel like it's a little too early for dinner, but I'm hungry because I haven't really eaten much besides breakfast today. I just feel like when it comes to living on your own and being busy, like having a school schedule, I start a new job tomorrow, which I'll talk more about, but I'm becoming a nanny, which I'm so excited for. But I just feel like when life is busy, I typically enjoy cooking, but when it's stressful, like the last thing I wanna do is make the kitchen a mess and that's also kind of expensive. So meal ideas like this, I feel like are lifesavers. So I just take my little hot dog bun. I'm gonna go and grab my hot dog. Honestly, I'm so excited to eat this. I'm a hot dog lover. I made a TikTok and I got like almost half a million views, I think. And it was literally just me confessing my love for hot dogs. And I'm glad that there's a community of like-minded people because hot dogs are just, I just like them. So I don't know if this is bad or not. Uh, I feel like there's mold growing on this. I'm not gonna do that. Next time I go to the store, I'm gonna have to pick up a new onion. But another thing that's super good on the hot dogs is just like chopped up onions. I always get that at J Dogs. So just, I was planning on doing that, but because this kind of like, this is pretty old, so. Peace out. This looks like such a sad meal, but it's not. Don't, don't fret. And then I just take my special sauce and I drizzle this on. Yum, delish. And there I have my homemade J-Dogs. That is dinner. Well, that's not dinner. That's just like after school snack. Okay, I'm sitting at my desk now. I put away the dirty dishes. I actually organized my like fridge shelf a little bit. I have a very tiny shelf on the fridge. So I feel like it often gets messy quick because it's such a like cramped space. It's the top shelf. So like a lot of my condiment bottles, like they can't stand up all the way, which is fine. But I made sure I went and organized that. I'm about to get started with homework. Um, currently on my like, on my canvas to-do list, it says I have 16 items to do. My goal is to get that down to six. So I wanna do 10 assignments today. Whether, whatever that looks like. So yeah, I'm pretty good, I feel like, at getting my assignments done. Obviously I'm not perfect at this, but I feel like that's how I manage like my homework stress. But this week I just have literally done not a drop of homework and I am now needing to deal with that. So I'm gonna try to get most of that done today. Probably have to work on it a bit tomorrow and then hopefully it's all done by Saturday. Also this week I had a lot of group projects. So that's more what I've been working on is like my part for the group projects. But just in general, I really haven't done that much. I'm like, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna change into comfier clothes. So peace out. Okay, I'm pretty much ready to get started with homework. I have a group meeting at 6.30 and I need to finish my portion of the project before then. It's about 4.15. So I think we'll be able to get that done, but I, it's a literature review and I've never really done one before. And so it's just like a lot of, like, it's very formal. I'm just making sure I'm like doing it correctly, but yeah, I wanted to work out tonight. So we'll see 
when the night takes us. But I will check in with you guys once I've done a few assignments. So I'll write my paper. I'm about to hop onto my group meeting phone call. And Adrian and I just came. I texted the notes from today and then what our assignments are and then kind of overwrite them. <sighs> I look like a hermit crab. Hi guys, it is currently 9 p.m. and I'm a TikTok addict and I'm really, like today I just did so much unnecessary scrolling. So I've definitely wasted a lot of time, but I've also, I've gotten a lot of productive homework assignments done, but I'm still just working on that. I feel like I get distracted, which I need to work on. It's, I feel like I have the capacity to be disciplined. I just, I'm not. So. But I've been better. I have completed quite a few assignments. I probably have a few more. I just want to quickly finish up tonight. Um, but I then I'm probably gonna get ready for bed and we can do a little night routine together. But I haven't really needed to wear my glasses at all. Like honestly, since this semester started, like there's been very few times I've needed to wear my glasses. But at night, like today, like while I was doing my homework and I was like, my vision feels fuzzy and I put my glasses and like, oh, my glasses is so much better. I feel like at night, sometimes my eyes feel a little bit more strained, but also eating a lot of ice cream wasn't smart. Who would have thought? Something about me, it does not matter how tired I am, I will do my night routine. Like that is just part of the reason why I feel like I sleep so good is because I like, I'm strict about my regimen and I make sure I get it done. It's pretty simple, but it just helps me to like wind down and get ready for bed. So let's start the night routine. Also it is, I look like a grandma. I'm like, look at my phone. It won't focus, but it's 9.46, it's almost 10. Tomorrow is my first shift as a nanny, which I'm actually really excited about. Tomorrow is just a half day. I'm going to be with the mom pretty much most of the day and we're just gonna go around like the ropes of how they run as a family and stuff like that. So it's gonna be just a brief day, but I'm really excited. I then start officially next week, but I can talk more about that like later, but I like want to get to bed because I have a pretty far commute. Okay, I promise it was only like a bowl's worth of ice cream, but <laughs> it looks like I ate the whole tub. I just finished washing my face and this is like my product shelf. It looks cluttery, but I promise it's organized. This is like where I keep all my perfumes, my skincare products. This is where I keep my makeup, my jewelry. Um, But my skincare routine is so incredibly simple. So let's do that. Bye, is my cello back there? I feel like it just looks like a big black blob, but let's maybe move my ice cream. Okay, so for my skincare routine, so simple. It's interesting because when I was on Accutane, like as soon as I wash my face, I would have to immediately put like so much moisturizer on. I feel like going even 10, 15 seconds without putting moisturizer on my face, my skin felt so tight and it was uncomfortable because it felt like extremely dry and I still kind of feel like that but I can go longer now without needing moisturizer. I don't do this every night but I do this majority of nights. I will put on this is the Glymed Plus CBD Skin Mist. Probably need my glasses. <laughs> but I just put this on and then I use my Vanna Cream. This is my Holy Grail moisturizer. I use this all throughout Accutane. I started my, I think my dermatologist had recommended CeraVe, but when I used it, I just didn't like the way it fell on my skin. And then people on TikTok recommended this in my comment section and it did not fail. Like this, I've, I think this is my third time repurchasing this bottle and it's like a big, this is a big thing. So this really has done me well, but I just do one pump of this. And the nicest part about this skincare product is it's only like 13 bucks at Target. So it's a very affordable moisturizer. I lather that up in my palms and then I put on my skin. It's interesting because like on TikTok, I'm talking quietly because the walls are thin and I think my roommates are probably trying to go to sleep. I think it's interesting because, I mean, it's fun. It's like a little nighttime chit chat. But on TikTok, a lot of like a new trend I've seen going around is people, specifically influencers, talking about brands that they will not be working with no matter how much they get paid. And one of those, I haven't made that video, but I'm like, that is kind of interesting. But one of the things I've kind of decided upon is like skincare is so iffy and so many brands are willing to be like to sponsor, you know, me specifically because I talk about skincare a lot, but unless I like really love the product and if I really love a product, I'm just gonna post about it naturally. My last skincare sponsor I did was with Tula and like I actually really did like working with them because I love their sunscreen. They had like a mineral sunscreen I used for a little while. 
I still am like, now even more so, I'm just like leery of recommending skincare products in a sponsored post. Just because like, no matter how good the product actually is, I feel like skincare is one of those things people are always obsessed about. But anyway, so if I ever take a skincare sponsor, like moving forward, like I hope you guys know, like I truly love the product, otherwise I will not be recommending it. I think another difficult thing with skincare is the fact that my skin cleared up majority because of Accutane, not because of one specific product. I think in general it came down to Accutane, so it doesn't feel right because I've been reached out to by skincare companies you know, in the past couple months. But I'm like, I don't feel comfortable promoting this and being like, look how good my skin is when it's because of Accutane. Another step I tried to do in my morning and night routine, I was super good about it for honestly a while, which I think is why my vision improved, but I'm still continuing to at least do it once a day and it's using sterile free moisturizing eye drops. As recommended, these eye drops are from Costco. Um, they're like called the Refresh Eye Drops and they're in like a green packaging. But it's recommended by my ophthalmologist because when my vision was declining on Accutane, he was like, it's because your eyes are so insanely dry. He's like, it's as if you have eczema patches on the back of your eyeballs. And I was like, cool. So he recommended me doing these and I really do feel like they've helped. I just do one drop initially. My eyes would be so red on Accutane and I would just use like the Lumify whitening drops. And like, Looking back, I should have gone to the ophthalmologist sooner because the whitening drops were just covering the issue. It wasn't helping it or fixing it. Like it was making my eyes look white even though my eyes were so agitated, but they really just needed to be moisturized. I remember when I was a little girl, I had to put eye drops in, I forget why, but I was so terrified to do it. I remember my parents like bribed me with a Diego stuffed animal. So Diego from Dora, I don't know if I had a crush on him or what, but like, I just love Diego. And so my parents got me a Diego stuffed animal and they're like, we'll give this to you if you put your eye drops in. And I was like, okay, I'm like, I'll do it. Don't have to ask twice. This is the pharmacy lip smoothie. I really like these. I have the honey vanilla one and then the apple one. The apple one smells super good. They both smell good, but I love putting on like a lip mask at night. Hold on, don't be scared. You guys might already know this, but I did have a lot of hair loss after Accutane. When I got off a lot, like my hair density probably cut in half. It was honestly sad. Slowly but surely, it's been coming back and it's been growing and it's been getting healthier. So that's the good news. Yeah, these are, this is all regrowth. I ended in November, so it's been like five months. But for my night routine, I make sure I oil my hair. When I braid my hair, I look like a founding father. It's not a good look, but it's just healthier for my hair because it's not moving around at night on my pillow and potentially causing breakage. I try to not go on my phone about 30 minutes before bed. That way I'm just like not super stimulated before I go to bed. I feel like being on my phone makes me stay awake. I pop in my retainer and I pretty much so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the most chill after school vlog and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day yourself. I'm gonna braid my hair off camera because it's not gonna be great and I will talk to you guys in my next video. So thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night.